Hey guys, it's me, Meteor, and I know it's been a while, but here I'm going to be doing a new Let's Play, which is going to be Metroid 4, which is going to be Metroid Fusion. So yeah, I know it's been a while, I took a pretty long break, but don't worry, I'm not going to take uh, three extra breaks in the first half of this Let's Play and then post the other half later in the year, but don't actually warn you about that until the very last episode of the first half. Oh, <laughs> that's just like another show that I watch. I'm not salty about that at all. Anyway, let's go ahead and begin here. A uh, little heads up as to what happened in terms of the first few games. Uh, all you have to know about this game is that in Metroid 2, she actually went to SR388 to, to extract and kill all the Metroids, make them go extinct. But there was a Metroid hatchling that took a liking to her and actually followed her. And they actually took that and raised it, basically. And then it actually escaped in Metroid 3 or Super Metroid. And, well, actually, it was actually stolen by Ridley. But uh, you don't really know much about that. You pretty much have to know that there was a Metroid larva and all that. So let's go ahead and begin. Start a new file here. This is going to be a 100% run, but it's not going to be a speed run. I've been assigned to watch over Biological's research team. Biologics. Wow, I could read. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR388. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. It was only later that I learned the identity of my attacker, their parasitic organism that we now know as X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station when disaster struck. Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness, and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. Biologics vessel recovered it and transported me to Galactic Federation Headquarters. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me, corrupting large areas of my power suit. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. Then someone found a cure. They pro proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived reborn as something different. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. The first, in case you're wondering, was in Super Metroid when the infant Metroid, like who thought Metroid Samus was a mother basically, pretty much uh, against the fighting mother brain, she was about to die. Then the Metroid actually gave her, gave all its power to her, and then was essentially killed by mother brain herself. So basically, thanks to the Metroid giving life back to her, she actually survived and was able to kill mother brain. In case you're wondering there. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL research station. I must prepare for docking. 
The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biologic space labs, or BSL research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart, and now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt, computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Second time. Notice that. Metroid of the Rim! Um. <clears throat> And then, of course, it shows us the map of the first area here. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR-388, as well as parts of your suit infected by the X-Parasites. The cause of the explosion is as of yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now go to the quarantine bay. And thus, our adventure begins! Now, I see a lot of fla- Oh yeah, you could also have a sa there's also a save station there hidden, but uh... No, I don't want to convert- I don't want to go back there, I was trying to actually just talk while I'm doing something. Alright, so basically here, a lot, I see a lot of flag for this game here being too linear, but honestly, I've actually had more fun with this game than most other Metroid games I've ever played. And really, I've maybe even played it more times and beat it more times than even Super Metroid. This game I can just pick up and play anytime I want and beat it, where Super Metroid is going to be a long drive and journey. Great journey, but still, it's not one I can just pick up and play anytime I want. Zero Mission, not bad, but I always, I, I don't know, I had a special place in my heart for Fusion. I see a lot of unneeded flack. I was also thinking about maybe doing Metroid Other M as my first Metroid game, but I think Naka Talili pretty much did that game the best, more better than I ever could, because he actually played the game without insulting it all the way through. Like, yes, he admitted that the game had faults, and I would admit that it has faults. However, the game in its right is still very fun, and it gets a lot of unneeded hate from people who probably never even played it. But that's another rant for another day entirely. Point is, just going up here on these platforms, just jumping up here, and there's not really much else we could go. We pretty much just have followed the. It's pretty much just giving us a learn and tutorial of how to actually do stuff. There's navigation room over there, but there's not really much else we can do. We'll see pretty much all the doors locked here. Now, with Super Metroid, these would mean Super Missile doors. You can blow them up with a Super Missile. Doors don't work that way in this game, in case you're wondering. Doors work a completely different way entirely, which you're going to see very shortly. But let's not worry about that quite yet. Let's go into the navigation room. This is where we'll get little bits of story added into the game. The quarantine bay is ahead. Biosigns are confirmed. Be careful. Alright, so let's see what kind of biosigns, what kind of evil stuff we're going to go in. Can't go in there yet. I don't recommend going in there for quite some time. But either way, pretty much the only place you can really go is here. It's really the only place you can go. You can't go in there either. You don't have your morph ball function. You don't have missiles. All you can do is shoot. You don't have any of your abilities yet because, well, you lost them all because you pretty much almost died. So there's that. And your suit is entirely different than the power suit you just previously had. And then there's this enemy. And there's an X. Which, honestly, is able to actually clone itself as other enemies. Pretty much, it takes the life form, kills them, and clone into them. Kind of like Ditto, except Ditto doesn't have to kill anyone to actually take their form. But either way, it kind of looks like Ditto too, actually. Little blob thing. But that's another story for another day. Let's just go ahead and jump up here and have some fun. And head back to the navigation room. And then we could actually, you know, do something else. I like that little effect with the, like, the little uh, light there. Alright, what do we got this little computer guy? This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X-Parasites. The X can mimic its prey, and specimen could have hosted it. 
before the explosion, a security sensor scanned one. The gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. I explained that I should have waited for this to show that off, but whatever. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cel cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way, so pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many species, some violent ones. We must keep the X out of the breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. Am I, I am already detecting massive bioscience in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but you are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Of course. Now, get going. I have released the lock on level zero hatches. Look for the blinking hatches. Alright. So now we can actually go forward. We can't really do much else. But either way, we can actually go to a few new places. But still, we're blocked off by these level one hatches here. So we can't do much of are those level two. I think those are probably level two hatches, actually. In fact, if you go to your map here, yep, that's level two lock. Okay, yep. See, it actually shows you the locks there. We're not going to be going into most of those for quite some time, so don't worry about it. Another one of these guys is killing. There's a safe station here in case you need it. Meh, don't need it right now. Wasting time. Like I said, this is not a speed run. This is just pretty much just having fun, and that's basically it. Just 100% run, but no speed run, because I am not a speed runner. I can't speed run things. I know there are some people who are fans of me who actually were speed runners, but that's beside the point. Anyway, let's go into this navigation room here, and we'll get more story, of course. Don't worry, the, the game's a lot more faster paced after this. I have received news from headquarters. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Why did I say data? Is it data or data? I think it'd be used interchangeably if I'm not mistaken. Is your objective clear? Yes. With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. Hooray for, you know, four-fifths of a chance of dying. Hooray. We go in here. There's not really much in here we can do yet. So you're blocked off by that, but whatevs. That's not where we need to go anyway. Where we need to go is up here. In case you couldn't already, you know, follow the pattern of what's going on here. So let's go up the elevator. Whee! That computer reminds me of a gruff Federation CEO I served under the name Adam Malkovich. He called me Lady on missions. From anyone else, it would have sounded sarcastic. But Adam made it sound dignified, out of respect, and with some irony. I named the computer after him. I actually should have worded that differently in my reading of that, actually, thinking about it. I, whatever, fine. That's why I should proofread things before I actually say them. Ah, here you'll see a new room here. This, of course, is a recharge station. Can't really do anything here right now except restore your health in case you somehow lost them against, like, the two enemies we fought. But you can restore your health and also restore missiles and stuff you have here. Another save room's there, in case you're wondering. That's what the C, R stands for recharge, S stands for save. N is then navigation, and D is data. In case you couldn't, you know, do basic letters, I guess. So here's a navigation room, don't worry about that yet. There's no more story for us to get. Let's just get our little data here and get our missiles upgrade. Hooray! Missile data downloaded. Hold R and press B. Aw, oh, but I'm, I, I, why can't I have like a three minute tutorial on how to actually shoot missiles and press R and press B? I miss tutorials. Oh, well that's interesting. What happened? Electrical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Yes. 
Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now, find a way to the target. Can do, buddy. What can do. The way to the target, spoilers, is right there. And you just go in here. And now we can go into this little green spot. If you notice, the green spots are actually not marked on the map. You'll see these. You could actually kill them with missiles now. So that's cool. You could also wall climb. That kind of stuff there, too. Kind of interesting. In fact... In case you notice, you could actually... Ah, whatever, I can't do it right now, but... I'll worry about... I think, I'll, when I get into a better spot, I can actually show if you can actually wall climb. Or wall, wall, wall jump, is what I meant to say. But you don't really have to use it for much of anything except maybe speed runs, so not really that big of a deal. Just land down here and continue on our path. And hey look, some free missiles for us, a free missile upgrade. How nice of them. But if you go in here, that's not all. Right? Ah, right there. There's another missile upgrade, so now I have 17 missiles. Hooray! Kill you. And now we're back on the main deck again. Hooray! And you'll see this little eye thing. If it shoots one of those lasers, just jump over it. Which I didn't do there. But yes, the uh, the yellow X's actually give you restore 10 health. And the little green ones actually restore your missiles. So that's something to know about. Come on, I just want to break open this door. One more hit. These doors take three hits. And then you'll see a red X. The Red X restored 99 health and 99 missiles, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, or is it a little bit more than that? I, think it, I forget how much health it gives you exactly. I'll look it up, actually, and maybe post a like, little annotation thing. Whatever, let's go to the save room here. Nope, don't want to save right now, actually. What's in here? I feel like it just came from here. Ah, yes. Can't, still can't do anything about that yet. Or for quite some time, actually. So let's just go inside this door, which is the only place we can go. And of course, you can just jump from thing to thing there. I always have an issue trying to climb those. You'll see an energy G tank here. Energy tank gives you an extra 99 energy. Each block you see there gives you 99 energy, in case you don't know. Now right here, shoot up, shoot up again, and go over here, and hey, look, there's another energy tank. Nice, we already have 299 health, or 297, actually, because each one's 99. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, each tank is 100, but your last 99, okay, there we go. Either way, here we'll have our first boss here, and he is a joke. This is Arachnus. I don't know why he's called that, considering he's, you know, uh, not, he's bipedal, clearly. Why am I messing up so badly? Wow, um, could I not fail miserably? That'll be nice. Wow, I'm, I am... How the crap am I doing this battle against freaking Arachnus? Either way, when he shoots off, just land on this. And then when he comes near you, jump over him. And then eventually he'll turn to that... Ugh. If I die against freaking Arachnus, I'm gonna be super ticked. Like, honestly, that'll just be embarrassing. I, I'm i freaking losing to Arachnus! How does this even happen? There we go. But then that's not all. There's also a little fight here. You also restore your health there. You could also notice that there's actually a core egg you need to defeat too. Really? Well, that went horribly, but thankfully, these X parasites here, the core Xs, actually restore your health to full and give you a new ability. The morph fall ability is recovered. Press down twice to morph. Well, that was um. At least I didn't die, so there's there's that. But my gosh, that what the f I, I almost never take damage from that guy. Right there, I almost killed myself. Even <laughs> I did, wow. All right, well, let's not worry about that. Let's just continue on here. And be on our way. Of course, here you can actually see the same things called ladders. And you can, of course, climb through a little morph ball there. And there we go. And zombies, because re reasons, I guess, because they're already. You know, if they copied their stuff exactly, why do they turn into zombies for? I, I don't know. Where, where do the zombies really come from? Where do they originally? I don't, I don't know. 
Either way, you'll see this. Just break it down. Go in here. And it's just a recharge station. No ability upgrades or anything. But hey, there you go. There's one last upgrade we could get currently. So let's go down here past the save station. Don't worry about the save room quite yet. You'll still see those doors you can't do anything about. Don't worry about them either. And let's head down to the navigation room. I'll probably get some update on story or something. You're telling us to give us a new objective. Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Sector 1 SRX shows several abnormal uh, abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access the shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Okay, fair enough. A breeding room in an SR388 environment. Uh, okay. Okay, that, uh, that, I'm sure that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and go here. Missile tank acquired. Missile capacity increased. So now we have all the upgrades we can currently get in this sector for now. And that's the thing about this game, you only have limited, you have like three chances to get what you need to in each sector and before it's closed off entirely. Sometimes it's like once or twice. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe there's a way to actually secretly access, maybe there's an alternate route for all sectors. By the way, let's go over here first. Huh. It's... Ridley! Anyway, let's go over here. And, uh... If you're wondering why Ridley's here when he was killed off in Super Metroid, and, uh... Well... Metroid Other M actually kind of, uh, what's the word? If you're wondering why they, how they captured Ridley when you killed him in, uh, Super Metroid for real that time, well, Metroid Other M actually goes into explaining that, although very, very terribly, because the storytelling of that game was, well, awful. But, basically, it was roughly explained and very... Basically, the gist of it is that, uh, after the whole... Well, I can't really explain it. Just watch, uh, play better than other M, I guess, or something. I'm, I'm not going to explain it right now. Basic. Oh, okay, let me, let me try to explain it. The G Feds, after you did the thing in Metro to other M, they went ahead and pretty much scrapped up the area for anything that was left remaining. That might have been including Ridley, who was who, who almost killed again in that game. I think it's the basic gist. I'm, I'm a, I do a horrible job explaining things, so don't worry about me. Either way, let's just head down here. Ah, huh. that's... that's not us. Ugh. It has a screw attack, and it has super missiles. And it's... Ugh, that thing doesn't look very fun. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem, I, I could imagine. But I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll just... These problems kind of work themselves out. You can't do anything to the right, in case you're wondering, so let's just go to the square the ones flashing, and head down to Sector 1. Elevators are fun! And now we have our next navigation room right here. And we of course get a map update as well. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown ancient is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They already are reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is that clear? Yes. Now, get moving. Sure thing, computer guy, Adam, whatever. But yeah, that should be it. So I think next time Metroid Fusion will actually be heading over in Sector 1, do what we can there. I don't know how long it'll take to actually finish Sector 1, but whatever. Next time we'll be doing that. So see you guys next time.